Did you know a single strategy could revolutionize the way you approach product personalization, boosting your results and giving you less competition? Let's uncover the game-changing secrets that experts are using but few are talking about. Give this video a thumbs up if you get any value out of it. Let's get into the content. So what I'm talking about is Gelato Personalization Studio. Now, look, this is right here. This is the landing page. I'm signed into the back end. If you're not unsure what Gelato Print On Demand is, it's basically a print on demand server. Once a customer places an order, the order comes through Gelato. They print and ship it for you. You don't have to deal with none of that. So that's the power of print on demand and having a print on demand business where you're just focusing more on the customer service and the actual creation of the design. Now, you're going to see it right here. You can see how, you know, with this coffee mug, they have an example of, you know, like weddings, anything like that. Family, you can put like, you know, customization of, you know, the name on there, which is very, very powerful. Now, this is one thing I've always said when it come to, came to print on demand is the more customized the product, right? The more that you're able to customize the product, the less competition you're going to have, right? So there is a few ways that you can connect this. There's Shopify and Etsy. If you come down here, you're going to see a few more examples and a little bit of a breakdown of everything that they're talking about right here. What is personalization studio? Uh, how does this feature save time? And just there's this, there's how can I share my Shopify and Etsy? How can I share my Shopify and Etsy subscriptions? And there, there's, there's a few more other things right there. And there's some pictures right here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you like how I would connect this to an actual Shopify store and give you an idea of how you can customize this actual uh, product and turning it into a whole landing page and take you through the whole process just to give you an idea of how powerful this is. Now, once again, like I said, you can connect to Shopify or Etsy, either one. So let's get into it and we'll go ahead and link this up and uh, take you through the whole process so you can have a better understanding of exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click on try it now. You can click here, try now, try now, or try it now. Click on one and then it pops up Shopify store. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here and it's going to go in to uh, you know choose your product now i'm going to come over here to wall art and then i'm going to come over here to posters and then i'm going to go ahead to the i'm going to do the best seller right and then i'm going to go ahead and do 20 or 10 by 10 and then uh file this is the cool thing about this just understanding doing a little bit of research too and i'll take you over here too so we can do some research and get an understanding of you know the actual design that's going to be created here and take you through the whole process and the idea of how i did it now before we don't jump in here and upload the image and show you exactly how this is like how you can make it personalized it's pretty freaking cool i like it a lot because it's like Wow, this is this is neat. This is really cool. So what I did was come over here to just Google and personalize wall art for Valentine's Day. And this is coming up too as well. So this is like something that's trending. There's going to be a lot of data. There's going to be a lot of information. There's going to be a ton of social media information, social media images being popped up in front of you, different ads, stuff like that. And when I literally typed this in and I went and checked my phone, right? I checked my phone. All of a sudden getting hit with Valentine's Day, like different images, stuff like that. So when you're doing the research, you're going to see, it's going to start to populate around. You're going to see on Facebook, on Instagram or TikTok. TikTok or wherever you're at. And one thing is, it's like, I'm seeing like, you know, love is a big thing when it comes to like personalized stuff, you know, love. And like, I've always talked about dogs. I have, cause I have dogs and stuff like that. Love dogs, anything that you mar getting married, you know, first mom and like mom and dad, first time parents, stuff like that. Anything that's very, very passionate. It's an idea for you to create something that can be personalized, right? And the cool thing about being products being personalized, it's you're creating less competition for yourself, right? It's very, very, that's very, very powerful. So understanding that and um, like, looks like, for example, let me come down right here. Let me click on this one and looking at this, you can see how, you know, they just did, you know, a couple holding hands, right? And they put love and this kind of inspired me to create something inside of chat JPT, which I'm going to share with you. But the part right here on the bottom is you can put the custom name right there, right? Which is really cool. So you can put a custom name right there and it makes it unique to that individual, to those people. So it's like, that's really cool. So you can see, you know, there's different, there's different types of stuff that's being done inside here by just looking at inspiration from these people. Cause there's, it's just there's so much there's so much that can be done you mean like and another thing too you're seeing like this type of picture like i've seen this on like on etsy i've seen it on facebook ads and this stuff like this goes viral it goes goes crazy so keep that in mind when you're looking at this stuff yeah it just goes viral and then you do the same thing over here personalized wall art for valentine's day you come over here on etsy you're seeing like what they're doing with the dogs right they're so like i, I feel like you know just doing like a, a you even insert insert like a certain type of image right and then putting like the name of the dog right that's a good idea too as well 
You see, we've seen this one right here on Google. You're seeing this looks like a some type of wood. So that's like a little bit more more detail, more more work, right? But obviously, with that type of stuff, you can charge a higher price point, right? So you can see it's a hundred dollars. That's that's a higher price point. Oh, look at this one. This one's cool too as well. This one's cool. And uh, and it's simple things like this, the, the easy things like this that can be done. These are very simple, but they're they mean something to somebody, right? Socks. Yeah. So you get the point. Just and then another thing too, I wanted to touch on is like and even think about just different. Like coffee mug is is a big thing too as well. Personalized coffee mugs, you see it all the dang time. You see it all the time. And so, like for example, you see like right here it has. Let me pop it. Oh, this one's over on it. This one's over on Etsy. It seems like so. If you go on Etsy, you check out Etsy. You're gonna see like you know they have like a custom image of them, right? He's holding his girlfriend or his wife, and then it has their names on the bottom right here. So anything like that, that would be pretty anything like this would be pretty good too as well so just on google like you can do a whole you just do a search over here and there's all kinds of different ideas that can populate over here same thing over here you're just doing the search over here on etsy you can do the search on amazon and just come up with different ideas and get inspiration so there goes the dog and the dog the dog face right he's licking his look he's licking his nose and then the dog's name right there and then this is another thing so they have a front and back design so his and her right so you see Jane and Mark and then your words here on the back end, so that, which is really cool. Kind of just took it to the next level. And then this one too as well. This one's a really nice one. All right, see how they did with the image right there? That's a really cool one too as well. So let's come back over here and we're going to go ahead and do that. So what I did was over here and come over here to chat GPT too as well. I was just like thinking of different ideas, coming up with different uh, things. So one way too, if you're not using chat GPT to come up with different inspiration. So if you come up with an idea, come over here and just type it in and see what it populates for you. You're going to see that it populated four different images for me. The first one, you know, it was like I said, it says love but it's not all the way i guess it'll work but this one's pretty cool right and then number two you can see it says love here too as well well it tried to say love right kind of looks like it's misspelled didn't like that one so i had to redo it again and then this one right here was the final one that i actually liked right there and then just showing you so hopefully that one but obviously it's not popular but what i typed in was make a couple holding hands walking into the sunset on the beach text below them love all right so now you can do that too as well something some, think of something romantic or something beautiful or something that's you know relaxing or anything like that right you can be it can be really good right so what i did was come over here and i so i took that one image we're going to take that one image that we got over here from chat gpt and then we're going to go here i uploaded it over here into the files so we have the file right there right boom boom it's uploaded onto the wall art and then you come over here to personalize, right? Now, this is the cool thing. So I have the image. I can actually, that image too, I can make that image edit. Like you can edit this image if I wanted to. So if a customer came onto the website, I think it was a customer. If a customer came onto the website, they can come over here and edit this image. So if they want to do their personal image of, let's say they have a personal image of them walking on the beach, walking into the sunset, right? And then they want to add their own text to that. They can do that too as well. So if you want to do that, you can do that by just you look it on the left hand side by me highlighting, you know, highlighting that off and on. It turns it on to make it, you, you can make it, you know, personalized. So for example, I'm just gonna turn that one off and then I'm gonna add a add a personal layer. I'm gonna come over here and now you can add, you know, there's a few things you can add an image, you can add a text. I'm gonna add a text. And then I'm gonna just put his name. And then, which is really cool. So I just put like, you can put like his name right, right here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And that's just an example just to give you an understanding of, you know, how you can do this. Now you can click on that and you can, you can change the color of, of the actual font itself. And then you can also change the font too over here inside of Gelato, which is really, really awesome. All right. So we'll just leave that font, for example, and then we'll go ahead and add another text, right? We'll go ahead and add another and you can change it right here or over here, wherever you want. And then we'll put her name, right? So they get the idea. We'll go ahead and put that to 62. And the cool thing with, you know, all this, you can move all this around too as well, which, which I like a lot. All right, now say we're happy with this right here. After we got it all finished, we'll go here to continue to mock-ups. And then as we hit that, it's gonna bring us over here to mock-ups. And then I'm gonna go to continue to details. And then just say, All right, we went ahead and uh, named it his and hers personalized wall art for Valentine's Day, right? Boom, continue to prices, and then pick your back play free shipping, continue to prices, and as we continue to prices, let's say we wanna put it to, and you can mess with any of this back here too, which is really cool. So we just wanna put the price to that, leave it at that, and hit update. Oh, no, 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 I messed up. 
go ahead and hit that and it'll tell you like the profit margins too as well there's just an example but it'll tell you all the information you can mess with any of this stuff the percentages all that stuff update you know it'll, it'll mess with that when i hit the update you see how it went to zero because i have it at zero amount but we'll just put it at 23 dollars for this and hit publish all right now as i hit publish i can come over here and view it on the actual store itself so it's over here on the store right and then i can come over here to personalize design hit this right here and this is where the the cool stuff is so this is as a customer seeing it as a customer right so you can come in here and any of this is you can edit any of this so let's say jack and then right and then just we just did the text only and then jill right and you can you know move any of this however you want it and which is which is really really awesome it makes it so much easier and, and like this is one thing that was like this is really cool this is pretty cool how you, how you can move all this stuff so as i'm looking at this and moving moving it around i think it's just really really awesome you can change the font however you want it because remember this is a personalized item this is how they want it not how you want it it's how they want it and then you come over and you can hit after you're done hit add to cart and then it's literally taking you through the whole checkout process which is cool and, and then the order goes through right and then gelato prints and ships the product to the customer for you but this is going to make you different from the comp your competition right and it's going to create less competition for you the less competition you have the more money you'll make so we did research we created a uh, personalized wall art and we leveraged ai at the same time to help us do that right and it was pretty pretty it was pretty simple and took you through the whole process on how to set it up and i think it's amazing time so remember just keep in mind when you're doing all this stuff it's all about like the research part of it research is very very important before you do any of this and then understanding the whole process of it because once you have those two down then you just kind of put a workflow in place for yourself to scale this to the level that you want to scale it at. If you want to see an example of a print-on-demand t-shirt from Gelato, watch this video next right here. Thank you very much for watching and give this video a thumbs up.